All right, hey everybody. Uh, hello from Austin, Texas. And we're in our second day, I think, of training camp. Uh, ahead of the Ireland game at Q2 Stadium this weekend. As you can see, we have Julie Ertz, freshly back with the national team here to answer your questions. If you have one for Julie, please raise your virtual hand. We'll get to as many as we can in about 15 minutes, and then we'll be joined by Sophia Smith. So, first for Julie, let's go to Steve Goff. Go ahead, Steve. Hi, Julie, welcome back. Thank you. Um, what, tell us though, where you are in this process, um, how close you are to joining a club, and, and uh, I guess why you decided to uh, take another crack at the national team after a couple of world championships. Um, yeah, okay, um, I'm in communications with a few teams so just hopefully finalizing them soon trying to stay focused on the games um coming up but also knowing that I need a club team so hopefully have an answer for you soon um I think clearly the love for the game is hard to step away from um obviously coming back from pregnancy um changes things um obviously your body um so I just wanted to make sure when I was coming back that I felt like I was strong enough to be able to feel like I could be myself. Um, and I can't remember what else you asked. And how do you feel? And I feel good. I'm, I'm, I feel like in this, these interviews, I'll probably use the term um, gratitude a lot, but I'm very grateful to be back. And it's really cool to see the girls and the energy of um, a World Cup year. Great. Thanks, Julie. Thank you. Thanks, Steve. Jonathan Tannewald, go ahead. It's Aaron Hedgewell, Jonathan Tenwell from the Philadelphia Inquirer. Um, I guess if you, I don't, I don't mean to push too hard on the expanding physically, but given how long it's been since you've been on the field, where do you, where do you think you are at this point in terms of game shape or close to game shape or whatever it may be, however you would describe it? And I hope you don't mind my asking, um, just because I feel like I have to do my job and ask for a moment what the clubs are. That you're talking to. Thanks. <laughs> I, I knew you were going to ask that, but um, you'll find out. I'm, I'll fi you'll find out. But um, yeah, I feel really good. Um, you know, I, I have been, you know, training and and making sure that you know my body feels physically where it needs to be. Um, and you know, being in this environment, I kind of know where my body was before. Um, so. I do feel really good, um, and obviously getting played in is part of that as well. Um, but I feel I feel great. Awesome, Steph Young, go ahead. Thanks, Aaron. Uh, hi, Julie. Hi. Nice to see you again. Um, yeah. You know, hopefully you're not looking at social media, but there are you know people <laughs> asking like, well, if you have a chance to get Julia Ertz back again, like, why would you not take it? But does that feel like it's a little bit of, like, unfair pressure? Because it's like, you're not the same person you were three, four years ago, and there's been, like, an evolution in who you are, both as, like, a, an athlete and specifically as a midfielder to your position? I'm, I haven't been reading anything, which I think is a good thing. Um, but I'm grateful for anybody that believes that I can make an impact. Um, I know probably my past successes with the team individually and collectively, um, have probably asked questions. I'm sure that's probably why I probably am back because I do love competing. I love playing this sport. I thoroughly enjoy it. Um, but no different than any of you are coming back from a pregnancy or not. I've learned that pressure is a privilege. Um, and there's always been pressure in any position, um, any time of my career. Um, my career, I feel like, hasn't been, you know, just normal and smooth every single time because it's about just getting better each year. And, you know, I want to come back and be – I don't even want to go back and be the player that I was because I want to be better. Um, and I know that seems weird being out long, but I don't know if you all feel like this, but, like, time is just crazy, especially when you have now a baby and just seeing it. I don't feel like I've been gone as long as I have, but I feel good and I love the sport differently than I did then. And I thought I loved it then, but taking a step away and um, kind of having a new perspective has um, given me kind of like a new drive. Thank you, Julie. Thank you. Thank you, Julie. Let's go to Jeff Carlisle. Go ahead. Thanks, Aaron. Hi, Julie. Hi. Um, you, you talked a lot about the physical side, um, but I'm curious, you know, 
how big of the challenge has been on the technical side, the tactical side, even the emotional side? I mean, how how big have those challenges been? Um, I think in the beginning, obviously, like right after, um, I was grateful to have a um, enjoyable pregnancy for Marcia to be able to work out um, really all the way kind of up until um, I delivered. So I think helped me, um, but I'm really just grateful for the resources, not only that U.S. Soccer gave me all the way through, but just where I was, um, I almost think like the state of Arizona just was like so helpful for me. Like I don't, it just like, you know, being where I was able to train, who was willing to train at whatever times it was, my lifting coach, like everything really just came together and was super supportive. And obviously like, my journey is just a little different in, in learning, try to when my body was going to feel right. Um, and so I've just, I don't really have too much more than just, I feel really good. And I feel like I'm understanding the technical place and it just took time. Um, but I've just, yeah, emotionally, I feel good. I'm in a good headspace to just understand um, to give myself a little bit of grace, but overall, like, I feel like being in this environment, you know, the game and really the mental side has always been the hardest section, especially being with such elite players day in and day out. Um, and so that almost was the, was the one that I wanted to really focus on coming in here because coming back pregnant or not, you know, five years ago, whatever, you have good days and bad days. And it's just making sure that you can control and the technical side is what you can control that stuff. And the mental side, I wanted to make sure that I was focused on as well. Okay. Thanks very much. Thanks. Annie Peterson, go ahead. Hi, Julie. Thank you so much for doing this. And I, and um, congratulations on the birth of your son. Thank you. That's really, that's really <laughs> wonderful. But I wanted to ask, you know, a lot of new parents, um, kind of wrestle with going back to work and when they're going to go back to work and, and, you know, it's, and whether to even attempt to go back to work, you know, and I was wondering, did you have that kind of internal emotional struggle in your decision to return? And was there a moment where it flipped a switch for you that, yeah, you wanted to try to come back? Your voice is so sweet. Like, that's the <laughs> sweetest voice I've it ever heard. very sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, obviously having a baby is very emotional. And just looking at him, I know the first few months, like, I would just stare at him and be like, oh, my gosh, like, how do people go back to work? Like, I think, you know, the emotions of that and, you know, after having a baby and all your hormones and everything. So, yes, like, of course – it's not easy. I have the most amazing support system. Um, my family, um, Zach has been unbelievably supportive and there definitely was a switch when I had a really long conversation with Zach. And I think when you have two athletes, um, probably closer towards not the beginning of their career, I will say, <laughs> um, it's emotional, it's emotional conversations, um, but also very touching and real and raw and, there was a moment I feel like, and I can't really give you the exact date in my head, but I know that I was sitting on the couch with my husband and my baby and just, we talked about everything, like having a baby, the process of having a baby, life, like wanting to play, but like, how does it work logistically and making sure my family's there. And, you know, so yeah, I, it's all that. And anyone who is kind of gone through that process of having a kid and coming back to work it's it's challenging and I would say extremely emotional thank you thanks thank Annie you. let's go to Jeff Kasuf go ahead Jeff hi Julie hi Welcome back. thank you um, uh, I'm wondering I mean you've touched on some of the elements the, the physical and emotional and, and I'm just wondering sort of uh, this team has changed a lot obviously that the World Cup is is very close and um, you know for you I, I guess if you could rewind a little bit, I guess, the, the 18 months or so, like how different do you feel it is um, coming in, you know, at this entry point where, where you're sort of maybe getting up to speed or just reassimilating and, and um, you know, how different is that from, from past experiences and, and maybe, or, or maybe similar, like, are you, are you finding yourself sort of quickly back to, okay, it's a couple months to a world cup or what does that look like for you? 
I'm, I've been in really good conversations with Flagco, just kind of what they've been looking at, what they've been trying to do, um, kind of about each game. I know that they don't try a few different things um, in previous games, and it's been a little bit different from game to game. So um, it's been fun kind of um, listening to what he sees and allowing me to ask questions. And um, it's kind of been a, a, a fun, I want to say challenge, because it's not, I wouldn't say a challenge, it's just a, a a different way, obviously, of approach, but at the same time, the same, because when it comes to a World Cup time, um, it's all about detail. So, you know, maybe I wouldn't be on the camp there, but the details were asked in more film or more, um, I'm trying to think of like what, ter- like what words I'm trying to figure out. Like it's, e- it's, it's more of like the student versus like I felt like that was my time of obviously I was getting back to do stuff and paying attention, but I was a a bigger even student of the game and I love being a student of a game um, even prior. But at this time it was, you know, focusing on everything else of getting my body back as well and then making sure to have that that part where I can really focus on what they were doing tactically, if even if I wasn't there physically. Long story short, she had a lot of video clips to watch. Yes, I did. Let's go to Henry Bushnell. Go ahead, Henry. Oops, sorry about that. I had a bit of trouble with the mute button. Thanks, Aaron. Um, and hey, Julie, I appreciate you doing this. Um, I just wanted to follow up on Annie's question from earlier a bit. Um, has it always been your target to get back for this World Cup specifically? And, and if so, like, or maybe even if not, like, obviously, you, you never know where your body's going to be, how it's going to respond to things physically or mentally. Like, has it been difficult to have this, like, as a deadline in, in a way, like, kind of pushing you? Or has it been helpful, maybe? I don't, I don't know. You know, I I feel like my motto of like this whole process, I feel like I've just had to have an attitude of gratitude mm-hmm. because you don't know. Um, and I've been so grateful to really actually enjoy this um, challenge because it was like I wanted to get back and um, back to myself and comfortable and be a great mom. So obviously that was my focus first and foremost. But yeah, in the back of your head, it's it's hard to not have that itch um when you're just so used to being so competitive um and especially having a professional athlete as a husband (laughs) so when you just see him like you know him also being in that competitive environment and watching his games and stuff so um yeah like I just kind of enjoyed the process and I took it in even smaller increments of like okay I'm gonna you know get better this week get better this week so Obviously, I think it's easy to look ahead and always be like, yeah, going to World Cup is amazing, but it's not as easy as said. And, you know, I've been blessed to be able to um, go, go to a few and um, enjoyed that process. But I knew it wasn't going to be easy. So I just kind of tried to um, enjoy it step by step. And it was a possibility. Amazing. Um, and just the journey of that process has already been um, really rewarding. Well said. Uh, thank you. Thanks, Henry. Last couple for Julie here. Uh, Michelle Giannone, go ahead. Thank you, Aaron. Hi, Julie. How are you? Hi, good. How are you? Good, thank you. Uh, you mentioned that you didn't want to come back to the player you were. You want to get better. And given the fact that you've been one of the best that have done it on U.S. soccer and of all time in the world, what does that look like? What do you need to do to, to get that goal? Thank you. I'm, I just think, you know, the game continuously – adapts your opponents constantly get better um i enjoy being um i don't know i just feel like there's always room for improvement i think i've um enjoyed the process i'm I'm proud of the player that i have been able to be but at the same time it's hard to just be complacent i guess it's just not in this team's DNA to to do that and it trickles off to every individual here um and yeah I just everything like I just you know it's like every percentage we have of anything like if that's uh pass percentage shot percentage like set it's just everything you feel like you just want to get better in and I think a new refreshed love for the game just you just want to keep pushing to do that I feel like it's hard to give you just like x's and o's of like this this exact same thing um but it's just it's all collectively like another there's new players so you know there's different stuff that's brought to this team and it's it's relearn it's learning playing with 
with new players than the last time I was here as well. So um, it's kind of just all of it. Last one, I think, goes to Lakin Let me Go ahead, Lakin. Hey, Julie, welcome back. Thank you. Um, I believe there's a record number of moms um, on, in the U.S. camp right now, and I'm just wondering if you, when you were making your way back, if you talked to Alex and Crystal and other teammates about what it's like to come back after having a baby and maybe any advice that they gave you that, you know, helped you make your decision. And um, also, do you have your son in camp with you? Yes, he's with me. Um, I do have him here, which has been um, a real joy. Um, but yeah, I... I mean, since I've been on the team, I've been able to watch um, a few of my teammates also be moms going back from Piercy and I think Boxy's on and A-Rod and uh, the players now. And if I'm missing anyone, I'm sorry. I'm just going out to in my head. And um, and not even just here, but also in the NWSL um, who have paved the way to allow the resources that we have now and just so grateful for just the push to be able to make it more possible and hopefully help a little bit more to be able to be in. And, um, but also I feel like, you know, I feel like I have to shout out Shayna Williams, who I think she's with the red stars. Now. She is with the red stars. Now I don't want to say, I think, um, who has three boys and she is just been tremendous and kind of walking through what she's learned through her process and what an incredible mom she is, um, who's with the Jamaican national team. And, um, also Kalia Watt has been, um, we've been training together and just such a, it's just, it's nice to be able to have somebody there that also understands, but also pushes you and knows where you kind of want to be and being teammates prior as well. And, um, so it's been like, just it feels like almost a team within a team so like yeah you say team moms in and um seeing the babies together at dinner or dinners lunches and food times and just around the hotel is cool like I feel like I get choked up emotional because I had so much respect for them when they were in and now it's like a whole different level of like oh my gosh you'd no idea like the behind the scenes of stuff that they you know go through and um so I'm grateful for it all um but yeah they they've really inspired me. So I, I'm hoping they, I, I'm, and I'm sure they've inspired other moms as well. All right, on that grateful note, we will end. Thanks, Jules. Thanks, awesome guys. job. We'll be back with Sophia.